Hi friends, I am Isha from JV Fashions. This is class 1 from our Salwar course. It is part of our free session. Other classes of Salwar course will be paid course. This video is to give brief idea about how our online session will be conducted. Now, in class 1, we are going to see the standard measurements of ready-made kutta or top. So, first we will work out with standard measurement, then we will go to actual physical measurement. So, I am going to do the draft for S size. Once I have done the S size, you have to work out with M, M2, L, L2, XL and double XL. After, work out, uh, after doing all these measurements, draft for all these measurements, you will get an idea about draft. So, I am going to start with the S. If the measurements are not visible, the slide will come in the screen. So, We will have a two pieces of front and back like this. We are going to work out with one fourth of this. So round measurements, all round measurements will be divided by one fourth. Shoulder will be divided by half because only two part will be there for shoulder. All round measurements like chest round, bust round, hip round, all measurements will be divided by one fourth. While doing the draft, you will get an idea. So now I am going to start with shoulder. Tools we are going to use for the draft is measuring tape. I am going to use the sketch pens. I prefer pencil for the beginners. Eraser. French curve. Uh, this French curve will use with some measurements. I will make a video for uh, this also how to make a measurements in this French curve. And set square. So I am going to use the set square. We will start with the measurements. First, I am going to mark the shoulder. Shoulder is 13.5. So, to get the actual midpoint, actually, uh, we have to make the 13.5 divided by 2. So, fold the table into uh, tape into 2. So, you will get the actual half measurement so here the half measurement is 3 fourth in tape I will explain uh, this line is called 1 fourth and this one is called half and this one is 3 fourth one small line you can see next to the big line this one is called 1 eighth this 1 eighth measurements will use in blouse course so here the measurement is 6 3 fourth divided 13.5 divided by 2 is 634. This one is shoulder. First, we are going to mark the shoulder. That is 634. Like this. So, this is the standard measurement. So, for the neck, we are going to keep the standard measurement as neck width will be 3. And for back, neck deep will be 1 inch. For front, I am going to keep the neck deep as 4 inch. So, use the set square. So, if you are aligning the line, if you are aligning the set square like this, you will get the proper line. That's why we are using the set square. I am making a box for front and back neck. Again, from this shoulder point, mark 1 inch down so this is your shoulder slope from this neck point to shoulder slope draw a line like this again extend the line down like this in this part what you have to do you will have the measurement arm this one is arm round so half of here the arm round is 10 in S size the arm round is 10 so half of this will be 5 so 10 half of 10 will be 5 so I am going to mark the 5 measurement from the shoulder slope 1 inch should not take the measurement from top from shoulder sh slope you have to mark 5 
like this. So draw extend the line, align the set square in the side and draw the line then only we will get the proper straight line. Till now see we are going we mark the half of shoulder so I let see half of shoulder from shoulder point 1 inch slope this is 3 inch width of neck back neck deep is 1 inch front neck deep is 4 inch depends upon your deep if you want you can keep 5 if you want you can keep 6 from from the shoulder point I have took half of arm round so this line is half of arm round this will be your chest line now we are going to mark the bust so bust point is 9 we have took the half of arm round from this 1 inch slope but the, but while taking bust you have to take from this neck point so bust point is 9 and next one is waist waist point is 13.5 waist point is 13.5 and the hip hip length is 21 all the straight measurements are marked here so I am marking all this measurement from the neck point. First I have marked bust point, waist point and the hip length. So I am going to draw the straight lines, extend the lines here. Align the set square and draw the lines. Align the set square like this. Draw the lines. like this so I'll do see this part is bust length okay this part is waist length this part is hip length after hip length whatever full measurement you want height full height <coughs> depends upon your height so full height I am going to keep here is 33 full length of the full length from neck part I have kept here is 33 so the draw the straight line for align the set square and draw the straight line for 33 So all the length measurement, all the lengths, bust length, waist length, hip length and full length is marked. Now we are going to do the round measurements. So first we are going to see the chest round. This one is chest length. We will not get the actual measurement of chest length. So we are marking the half of arm round like this. So that will be your chest length. So now we are going to do the all round measurements. We are going to do all round measurements. First one is chest. So chest round will be 31. So 31 divided by 4. So we are going to work out with round measurements. While doing round measurements, Measurement should be divided by 4. So chest round is 31. 31 by 2 is 15 and half. 15 and half again divided by 2. So 1 fourth of chest round is 7 3 fourth. I am going to mark the 7 3 fourth here. Again, bust round. Bust round here it is 32. So 32 divided by 4.
divided by 2 is 16 and again divided by 2 it is 8 so I am going to mark the 8 here now waist waist round waist round is 26 26 divided by 4 so 26 divided by 2 is 13 and again it is divided by 2 6 and off now the hip round is 36 so we are going to do the 1 fourth of 36 so 36 divided by 2 and again divided by 80 meters and again divided by 2 9 so mark the 9 in the hip line all round measurements are done so chest round, bust round, waist round and hip length. Now while taking measurements we will be taking the actual round measurements while of the body. measurements. We will take actual measurements of your body size. So we have to keep some ease here. So ease will be the extra measurement from the actual measurement. So for slim fit, slim fit will keep the ease one fourth. If you want the slim fit you have to keep ease one fourth. So if you want medium fit half. Loose fit you will keep three fourth. I am going to keep medium fit half inch is for all measurements. So for chest for chest I am going to keep half inch is for best bust round we will not keep ease always if you are keeping the bust round ease the fit will not be proper we will never keep ease for bust round for waist I am going to keep half inch and for hip I will keep one fourth because anyway we will have the slip from here so one fourth ease is enough for hip one fourth I am keeping here one fourth so now we will see chest this one is chest round, chest round. One fourth of CH and CR. This is chest round plus half inch is one fourth of BR is bust round. Bust round. We are not giving any ease here. One fourth of waist round plus half inch is one fourth of hip round plus one fourth is now we are going to join this lines so already I have told you about this French curve I'll make a video how to make this measurements in the French curve so now we are going to place the French curve you'll get uh, by making this measurements you'll get the actual shape of, of your body so I'm going to place this tip of the make the French curve ultra like this I am going to place the tip of the French curve in this point like this align the French curve with this point with chest round point and bust round point so do the curve like this here like this now you have to take the midpoint of bust round and waist round now see midpoint of this two place the tape like this fold it like this so midpoint of bust round and chest round bust round line and waist round line so this will be the midpoint i am folding the table folding the tape and taking the midpoint now draw the line for the midpoint align the scale like this and draw the line here so this will be the midpoint line now place the French curve like this you can see side it has written side the side line should fall in this line in this line the side line should fall in this line and this curve part should get aligned with this bust line the side line should fall in this line exactly and the curve part should align in this line see 
the curve part should align on top of this line and the side line should fall on this line. Now we are going to draw a curve like this till this midline. Again change the fringe curve like this ulta and this line should point to this line. This line should point towards this point and align the fringe curve to this point. Now join. So this will be your shape. Now using hip curve, this is hip curve. So using this hip curve from this point to this point. Join this two point like this. Now from here you can draw the straight line. Using this also, this will be the straight part. So straight line. So this is your basic body draft. I will tell how to keep this French curve one more time. See from this point starting from the chest point to bust point you have to keep the French curve like this. Tip should face here and one more it should get aligned like this. After this you have to take the midpoint of this two line and you have to draw this line. After drawing the line side line should fall in the line again this French curve should align in this line. After align draw the curve to this midline. After that do the French curve ulta and the side line should point this you have drawn this curve no here it should point the side line should point on this point and it should get aligned with waist round point you have to draw the curve after that using french curve you have to join this curve so this is basic draft i'll show you the arm how to do So now place the tape like this, take midpoint of this, midpoint, so this is the midpoint of the arm round arm, so from here, from the midpoint take half inch, from midpoint take half inch, after taking half inch place the French curve, French curve should the tip the tip of the French curve should fall in this 1 inch slope and the French curve should get aligned with this half inch marking like this. So the curve will come like this. Now see the French curve line should get aligned with this line. Keep the French curve like this. So the line is getting aligned with this French curve. Slightly shift the French curve like this. Till this, this curve is getting falling, this curve is falling on this chest line. So I am raising the French curve slowly like this. Now the C. This curve is getting aligned with this line and the scale is also getting aligned with this curve. So draw the curve now like this. So this will be your front curve, front arm. So for back arm, what you have to do, keep the French curve like this. The French curve should get aligned with this dot. Don't see from first. The French curve should get aligned from the dot. From dot and it, it should get intersect like this. So this will be your back. So this intersection point should come inside this chest line or on top on exactly on top of the chest line but it should not cross the chest line so the intersection point should come inside anywhere else inside on top or on top of chest point but it should not go outside sometimes if it is not getting aligned like this you can see you can keep the french curve ulta like this and you can see and do like this also so this is the basic drafting of the body 
uh, while you are going to keep deep back deep words the shoulder slope will get in, uh, decrease inside so in my next video i'll show you how to do the shoulder manipulation thank you